Hello, here's Daniel Bachmann speaking again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this session. I will introduce you now to Blender and the renderer Cycles. Cycles is a relatively new renderer, an add-on where you can uh, render using the GPU or the CPU and you can get it on graphicall.org just uh, search for builds, enter cycles and then you may choose uh, CUDA versions, 32 bits for Windows and whatever you have the Mac OS X versions you can filter it down and select download the thing this is what I've done here uh, this runs on Windows 7 uh, 64-bit and I will show you an example of it using a 3D scanned model. Uh, it's a pretty dense scan, so I can go near here, so we can get a, a look on the poly count, so it's really, really, really dense. Uh, it's about 800,000 faces. So, what I've set up here is a normal material here, a, a diffuse. BSDF and here on the monkey Suzanne we've got an emission surface slightly color added and a strength of 100 so the beautiful thing here is um, I can switch it to solid you see the model I can work directly in the viewport using the cycles render I just turn on rendered and then it uploads all the data into the graphic cards memory because I Right now I use GPU rendering. And here we go. So I see this is uh, pretty much uh, awesome. Uh, I can select, I still select objects. Now I grab the Suzanne model and I put it here or there to light the scene differently. So this is really fast and awesome. Um, if we take a look at the memory usage uh, and GPU usage, at the moment uh, this scene uses 478 megabytes on the graphic cards. It only uses uh, one GPU, as we see here. Um, I don't know yet um, if it's possible to use multiple GPUs, but I, I'll find out and tell you in my blog. Turn this off again. So as the renderer progresses, it gets better and better. Um, maybe we can change now the material. We change it from diffuse to, to glass and we get instant uh, caustics without doing anything. I turn down the glass values. So here we go. This is pretty much awesome. Very nice shadowing and caustics happening there. We've got a bunch of other render modes, uh, material modes, as translucent. I let it render a bit. Here we go. Then we have transparent. So this is not that awesome. <laughs> uh, velvet. It's beautiful. So check this out yeah let me zoom in there come on check this out yeah beautiful velvety surface and all happening really really fast then we change the material to emission of course this emits light can turn down the emission value so that's really slow uh, low <laughs> uh, that's about it for for the moment uh, of course uh, now if you want to render the camera version here I've set up the camera you go to the render uh, settings and here you can choose what on to what you want to render, use GPU or CPU. And here is the integrator. This is the, the important uh, thing. So here I set the passes on 100, for example. I render this image. 
and above here we see uh, how many passes it's it's doing. Okay, now it's building up the scene, exporting. Yeah, here we see the passes, 1733 of 100, and when it reaches 100, it stops rendering. So that's the way how you control the uh, quality of your image. So now it stopped, and if you want it to render longer, you just enter a longer uh, or more passes, and then it goes more uh, through through more passes. Uh, unlike uh, iRay for 3D Studio Max, I haven't uh, found any possibility to render it unlimited. Maybe if I set it to zero, I haven't tried it yet. Um, this would be also a nice add-on, so to see how many passes I need uh, to get a clean image, and then write down the passes, render my animation or whatever I want to do. Uh, I tried it also using some some textures, but this was a bit buggy yesterday, I tried it out. So let's change the material of the floor and check if we can get a texture on it. Yeah, this time it works, no, not marble, I take, I take a Voronoi. Or no, it rules. Take the color value here. Let's check what's going on here. Uh, rendered. Give it some time. Here we go. So Voronoi, now we can also uh, change the settings on the fly. Here we go. Pretty much awesome. Um, I have to play around with it because I like Blender and it's free. It's still in development, the Cycles Render, but uh, I think it's g it has got a lot of future um, for Blender. That so many tools are programmed and are nice. Uh, have fun. Check it out. Check graphicall.org to get your build and see you later.